Okay, I want to show you how the inner cloud's made. If you're interested in a mattress that is a little bit on the softer side, maybe you've been looking at some memory foam beds and you like those, but you want something that's going to last longer, that's what the inner cloud's about. We've been making it for a while now, probably six, seven years. And like all of our mattresses, we start with a good inner spring at the core. Uh, unlike most other companies, uh, we don't do all foam beds. Uh, all foam beds are really not the answer for a long, long lasting supportive mattress because everyone in the industry knows this, steel springs are gonna last a lot longer than a, a foam core. And actually that's why a lot of big companies are choosing to use foam core mattresses. Number one, they're easier to make. Number two, they know that you're gonna be replacing them a lot sooner. It's called planned obsolescence. And the bedding industry is definitely all in on the planned obsolescence. At Comfort King, we make our own here. We're not interested in planned obsolescence. We want you to actually sleep on the beds for you know, minimum of 10 years. So you gotta start with a good inner spring system. And we use pocketed coils made in Germany. Um, they're the best in the world. That's why we ship them 5,000 miles to get here. So the inner cloud, every mattress has to have a purpose here at Comfort King. We don't just design beds for, for our pleasure. We design them so that people have good choices when they come in. The inner cloud is a 25 ILD, which is, puts it on a little bit on the softer side but it was always intended as a bed that is alternative to the memory foam beds that were out there. And that means we were using memory foam. And up until about three years ago, we used memory foam for a long time, but you know, memory foam has some negative aspects that a lot of people aren't aware of. The, the fact that it's slow moving and the fact that it's heat sensitive means you kind of melt into the foam. For a lot of folks, that means when they're trying to roll over, they're literally rolling up out of a hill. So it can interfere with your ability to, to sleep deeply and still move at night. It's, it's normal to move at night, um, you know, up to a dozen times you might have uh, moving your full body. So you want to be able to, you want the mattress to kind of help you with that. And so what we're able to do about three years ago, a new foam came out called Flow Foam. And this is a nice alternative to memory foam. It feels uh, just as good as memory foam, even better because it doesn't, it's not slow moving. So it actually helps you roll over. And it's also a little bit cooler sleeping too. And then the Intercloud also has our stretch top fabric. It was one of our first beds to utilize that. And that helps you feel the foam a little bit more. It's not a quilted cover like uh, beds traditionally have been. Uh, there's also a zipper in here so you can access it for, if you need to do a comfort adjustment down the road, make it firmer, make it softer. You know, we work with you to do that. So it's a really good mattress for um, people looking in the medium range price wise but you know we're making one right now back in our factory so let's go back there and check it out we can talk a little bit more about how they're made all right this is the inner cloud um, it starts off with our german comfy 600 coil system um, on the edge of the coil system we put this firm foam it creates a good sitting edge for you um, i've already installed a lumbar pad now the lumbar pad is going to firm up the middle third of the bed that's the part of the bed that gets used the most on top of there for support layers um, we're going to start off with our 1 inch, 1.8 pound density flat foam. Next we're going to use our flow foam, two 1 inch pieces. This is a good alternative to memory foam. It lasts longer and it's just a better, newer product. After we're um, done with this and we have all these layers glued down, we're going to come over here and we're going to first take a bottom cover and sew on a zipper to it. Then we're going to attach the zipper to our stretch material. And that's the inner cloud. Now, one thing I'll point out to you here, Josh, and thank you for that, is a lot of people may not notice this is a brass zipper, okay? It's a fireproof zipper. And I'm pointing that out because it's actually fire retardant, fireproof. By law, we have to put these in our mattresses. Unfortunately, a lot of companies are skipping by this point and using plastic zippers. You wanna watch out for that because that means your bed is, is not up to the standards of the FR1633. So that's the inner cloud. Uh, that's how we build them back here at Comfort King. If you want to know more, stop in, talk to Josh or any of our guys here. They can tell you how they're built.